Greetings my fellow Frag Fiends and thanks for dropping by the Horror Zone. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, today's video is going to be a new uh, horror movie review. This is a movie that just premiered on Netflix. Uh, the movie is called In the Tall Grass. It's based, based on, on developed by Stephen King and his son Joe Hill. The screenplay was written and also directed by Vincenzo Natali. Uh, the movie stars uh, Laisla de Oliveira as Becky. You have Avery Whittied as Cal. Uh, Patrick Wilson as Ross. And Harrison Giberson as Travis. Uh, pretty much what the film deals with, a brother and sister, they're driving through Kansas. They pass by this field and they hear this uh, young boy's cry for help. And they venture into the vast field of tall grass and then they come to realize that there is no way out and there's something something evil lurking within. Now I was really looking forward to this film. I had seen the trailer about several weeks back. Uh, the trailer looked great. I love Patrick Wilson. Uh, there's been some terrific Stephen King uh, adaptions. Uh, 1922 and Gerald's Game that have been done on Netflix are two that come to mind. Uh, those are both fantastic. So I was hoping that this would be equally as fantastic and I was very disappointed in uh, this film. Uh, I think the premise is fantastic. I love the idea of a brother and sister. I think, uh, you know, more films, more horror films. I like that when it's not just a couple, it's a brother and sister. And the dynamic between the two actors that played uh, Becky and Cal, uh, it was great at the beginning. I thought it was really well done. The, uh, the dialogue was really fresh. Uh, once they venture into uh, the field, into the field to to find this boy who's crying for help, I felt like maybe 30 minutes in. Once Patrick Wilson's character shows up, that's when the film started to become strained for me. I just didn't feel um, the tension, the horror that. The trailer made me feel like I was going to, and also the lead-in made me feel like I was going to, because I think the cinematography for this film is absolutely fantastic. You have this isolated church, you have all these abandoned cars, so you realize that there's more people in this field, people that have, are becoming lost in this field, and there's like this time vortex that's involved in it. And so it's really, really interesting and really, really a good concept, and I haven't read the short story by King and Hill, so I... I I didn't know what to expect going into it, but it just, the, the outcome of it was just, it got to the point where there was too many things they were trying to tackle, too many subjects they were trying to tackle, whether it's something from beyond, whether it's possession. There's so many things that they're trying to talk about in this, and it just all gets muddied. And by the time the movie concluded, I just couldn't have cared less about what was going on and who was going to be impacted and who was involved and what it meant uh, for the main protagonist. I just didn't care about them at that point. It's not one that I would either, would watch again. It just, it just didn't deliver for me. I was very disappointed in it. Um, people can feel free to check it out for themselves and see if they have the same feelings that I do but yeah not one I want to revisit not one I can recommend I easily would recommend 1922 and Gerald's Game two vastly superior Stephen King adaptions uh, on Netflix currently so if I had if I have to give In the Tall Grass a uh, rating on my scale I would give it two skulls Review of In the Tall Grass. I'm curious if anyone else has seen it. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from everyone. And as always, thanks so much for dropping by the Horror Zone, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Stay scared. I have a Patreon page. If everybody wants to help support me, the link is down below. And if you do help support me, Dracula here will get more treats, and Dracula really loves his treats. So any support that you can give me would be very, very much appreciated. Right, Drac? Yeah.